Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a no foundation makeup routine featuring a lot of nude sticks. So, I'd recently tried nude sticks in one of my full face first impressions, I think it was. And I am obsessed with the brand. Like, really, really nice finish to the skin, super easy to apply, really natural looking. So I do have some of the nude sticks products here. And then we aren't going to apply any foundation today because I know some people don't like to wear foundation, especially if they're just kind of running errands or not going anywhere important. Um, so I'm just going to use some concealer under my eyes and anywhere that needs a little bit more coverage. So stay tuned. So to start today, I'm going to be priming my face with the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This one here is really nice, especially if you don't want to wear any foundation because it actually has a little bit of color correction in it already. You can see it kind of has like a yellow hue to it. So it helps to brighten the skin instantly as well as over time the vitamin C that's in there. This primer smells like candy. It smells delicious. And you can see it kind of gives a really nice glow to the skin as well. Now I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see a little bit more of my skin texture. So you can see this is my face with no foundation on it. I do have like a couple little breakouts here and like a little bit, these aren't breakouts, they're just, they've gone away but they're kind of marked they've left behind. And then I want to cover a little bit of this darkness under my eyes. So now that we've got our face primed, we are going to go in with some concealer. So. So this one here, I recently used in my Revolution Foundation Concealer Makeup like review and wear test. So my mirror is here as well, so that's why I keep looking there. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this where I want some coverage. And this is basically the same color as my skin tone. Okay, so you can see I've applied the concealer where I want a little bit of coverage and I'm going to take a beauty sponge. This is the EXO beauty sponge and I'm just going to pull it. When I first got this sponge, I actually didn't love it. I, I didn't mind it, but it was very dense compared to what I'm used to because normally I use a beauty blender. But I have actually found that I've been using this every day. I think that like maybe I didn't wet it enough the first time and it wasn't like as squishy. Because it is like quite a big sponge, like it's... If you didn't have any like thing that you wanted to cover or anything, you don't even have to do this concealer step if you don't want to. Okay, so you can see, like I've only got concealer here but not here. But you can still see like basically all of my skin peeking through it's just in those like certain areas where you want it to look still a little bit polished but not like super makeup -y. okay so now that we have our concealer all done let's add some color to the face so the thing that I love about nude sticks is that you can use the products on your eyes your lips and on your face so really really great if you just want something quick and easy maybe you don't have the budget to buy like heaps of different products um, they're a really nice one. So we're going to start with bronzing up the skin a little bit. This is in the shade Sunkissed and it just looks like that. And then you could just strap this right on your face if you wanted to, but you would have to blend really quickly. So I always recommend taking the brush to the actual product. That way you have a little bit more control of where everything is going to go. So you can see it blends pretty easily as well. I haven't set like any of my concealer or anything with powder yet. So you can see that it's added like a nice amount of color, but yeah, you can see it still looks very natural. It doesn't look like I'm wearing like a lot of makeup. So I'm also gonna be using this color on my eyes. So I'm just gonna be taking one of the Fenty brushes. This is the 210 Blender brush. And I'm going to be using that on my eyes. But first, we need to prime my eyes. So this is the Zoeva Eyeshadow Fix in matte. And this kind of doesn't really have a lot of color to it, but it does color correct a little bit. 
Now let's go in with some eyeshadow. I'm just taking this color kind of through the crease. And you can see just how that adds like a little bit more dimension to the eye. So I'm also going to take the color underneath the eye on the lower lash line. So I'm going to use this little brush here. You can see it's quite precise. This one's really good actually as well for packing like darker colors on the outer corner of the eye. Okay, so I also have this other nude stick called Brown Sugar Baby. So I'm going to put a little bit of this just across the lid, just to add a bit of like, kind of a sheen. You definitely don't have to do this though. I just feel like it helps to sort of elevate the look a little bit more. So now I'm gonna apply some blush. So I have two options. I've got, so I've got Cherry Blossom Babe, or I've got Poppy Girl. So, Poppy Girl's a little bit more reddish. I've never actually worn this color before, and in my previous video using this, I did use the Cherry Blossom Babe, which is a bit more pinky. So, I think, because these colors are quite different, I think I'm gonna go with the, the Poppy Girl across my cheeks, and maybe on the lips as well. We'll see if we wanna use the other one. So, for that, I'm gonna be using a brush, and taking it directly onto this. So this one here has a dewy finish, just like the Cherry Blossom Babe one does. The um, Sun Kissed one though is more matte. You can see like despite how dark that color looks in its tube, it shows up really nicely and really natural on the cheeks. So now I'm gonna add some highlights. So for that, I'm gonna use this shade here called Illuminati. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply this. You can see it kind of has like a little bit of an iridescent sheen to it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this just on the brow bone as well. So you can kind of see how that looks. It just gives like a, like a more of a wet glow look to the skin um, versus like super like shimmery. It does have like that again a little bit of an iridescent sheen to it but overall it has more of that sort of dewy wet look. And we'll just wait for Marilyn to exit her garage. I really hate how like my window I have it open just to have a little bit more natural light but like they're such sticky beaks they always look in when I'm in here. Marilyn she has friends over a bit, which is really nice because she's a little bit older and I don't think she has like a husband or anything. Um, but they literally like when she part reverses out, she reverses and then she like will sit in her car and like look through the window here when it's open. It's really awkward. I just try not to look at them. I think she probably wonders because she could see like all of like, I don't have heaps of lights. I have a ring light in front of me and I have two soft boxes on either side. And then I have the window on this side. So I think she probably can see them. I'm like, what the hell is she doing in there? She's gone now. All right, so now that we have all of our cheek colors and everything on, we're just gonna quickly fill in our brows. So to do that, I'm gonna be using one of my favorites, which is the Benefit Kimmy Brow. So this one I use, almost every day. It's really quick and easy. I've used it in like so many of my videos so far. I just really like the shape of the wand as well. It's like not too big and not too small. Now I look a little bit more polished again. I know the difference that brows make is amazing. Okay, so now I'm also gonna add some mascara. So for mascara today, I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. I've been really loving how this looks on the lashes. So make some like really long and full. So you can see mascara, no mascara. Makes a difference for sure. My stomach is getting so hungry. I'm going for brunch with one of my friends very soon. 
so I'm so keen to have some food. I purposefully didn't eat because I'm like, I want to save it all for when we go out. So now that we've got that all done, all that's left to do is put on a lip color and then set our face. So I'm going to use the same color that I used on my cheeks, on my lips today. And I'm going to take my finger and just kind of press it on because I don't want it to be like a super opaque. You can see this kind of gives it almost more of like a stain look. Now looking at the concealer, it hasn't like creased or like settled into any lines or anything. So I don't think I'm actually going to set it with a powder. I'm just going to use a setting spray and then see how it wears without setting it. But overall, this look is really like very glowy and very like just simple. Let's add just like a tiny bit more blush. I'm gonna take my trusty beauty sponge. Make sure everything's nice and blended. Amazing. So that is it guys. That is a full face, no foundation makeup routine using mostly nude sticks. Obviously, I don't actually think they have eyeshadow primer or they don't have concealer, they have like this little sort of blur stick. All of the new sticks you can find at Sephora, they're exclusive to Sephora I believe. I really love how the eyes actually turn out because they look very like glossy but they're not creasing. Not yet anyway. And that highlight stick, I don't love a wet looking highlight. I think it looks so nice. It's not like overly like shimmery or anything, it just gives like a very beautiful glow to the skin. So. That is the end of the video. Make sure you give it a like if you did enjoy this look or if you learned something new. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Let me know down below if you do want to see more videos with Ben. Um, we had so much fun filming the Boyfriend Does My Makeup Challenge. So if you do want to see more videos like that or if you have any other suggestions of videos that we should do, comment them down below because I think it would be really fun. All of the products that I used today I'll leave listed down below so you guys can check them out if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!